Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we're going to take a look at the six Tacoma rear end mods and how they're doing. These are must have mods, in my opinion, the best mods you can add to the rear end of the Toyota Tacoma. So, let's take a look. First of all, the tailgate letters. And no, the flashlight sitting up above there is not part of the list. That's to show you the tailgate letters. These come from Tough Skins. There is a discount code down below, by the way, and there are discount codes on a lot of this stuff, so if you want to check that out. These fit perfectly. They are adhesive-backed, very simple to install. You simply put them in the slots, and Tough Skins does a great job engineering these. They fit perfectly. Now, the ones that I have in there are the newest from Tough Skins, and they are reflective, camo pattern. I've got the light, hopefully the camera picks this up so you guys can see the camo pattern in the bright light. Without the bright light, and they're reflective as well by the way, so they add a little bit of safety to the back of the Tacoma, but without the bright light, they just look basically black, although in this light I can see them as well. Pretty cool feature, something unique, I don't know of anybody else that's doing this particular pattern. I think they're pretty cool. I'm very happy with them. Next up, number two, bumper covers. Love these things. This truck is the TRD Off-Road, and that means it came with chrome bumpers. I am not a big chrome fan. Matter of fact, if you look at my truck, most of the chrome is gone by intent, right? These simply go over the chrome. You can get styles out there that actually replace the chrome itself. I didn't want to do that. That's a major undertaking, especially when there's something like this out there that simply goes over the top. It is indeed a cover held on by a screw or two underneath. And there are install videos for all of these things on the channel, by the way. Just type in Rob Motive and whatever it is you're looking for videos will come up, typically more than one. Anyway, they just stick on, they have adhesive, there are a couple screws underneath, never had any issues with them, they hold well, they fit well. Notice, you can't see any of the chrome, and you really have to dig inside underneath there to see it from this side on the back as well. Great coverage, great fitment, love the product, you can get them in different colors, you can even have them painted if you wanted to do something like the sport look and have them color match to the truck itself. I went with black because I've kind of gone with a blacked out theme back here, if you will. Number three, the Winjet smoked taillights. Love these things. I've actually had them on, I think, three trucks. The Voodoo Blue I had, the Magnetic Gray Metallic, and now, of course, the Electric Lime. What a profound difference these things make to the look of the truck. They make it look sportier. They make it look just more aggressive on the back. Love the way that they look back here. Let me see if I can't flash them real quick. You guys can see what they look like. Just a little bit of a flash. That gives you the yellow light in there. They are LEDs. I think they're just too freaking cool. No problems with them. I know some of the aftermarket taillights, people have complained about moisture getting inside condensation inside the lights. You can see here there isn't any and we did just have a, a tropical storm go through here about a week and a half ago so if anything would have gotten inside you would certainly see it in the form of condensation. Love the way they look. Oh, there we had a automatic lock, a feature of the truck. If you didn't know if you unlock the truck and then don't relock it without opening the doors it will automatically relock. Next up, number four, the black exhaust tip. Now, this happens to be something that I didn't put on myself. This actually came with the truck, but it just adds a little bit more blacked out look back here. I love the way that it looks on the truck. Gets rid of the chrome, and you don't have just that small exhaust pipe that you would have typically hanging off the back of your truck. It's very simple to do. There are many different versions of it out there that you can pick up. Easy to put on. It's just held on there with a clamp. Very simple. And as I mentioned, there are many different versions. This one happens to have 
the matte black style. You can also get a gloss style if you want to have a little more bling back here. Number five, the hitch light. This thing is pretty cool. I'll flash it again for you real quick just so you can see it. That's what it looks like when you lock. That's what it looks like when you unlock. And you may have noticed a strobe effect there when I unlocked. The way that works, when you hit your brakes, of course it also comes on along with the tail lights. The first time that you hit it, you get a strobing effect. That is to draw attention to the people behind you so that they know that you're stopping, obviously. Anything you can do to garner more attention on the rear of your truck to keep people from, there we had that automatic lock again, to keep people from running into the back of you is a great product in my opinion. It's very simple, it's a plug and play. If you have the trailer package, like I do right there, you just unplug that from the back, plug the harness that comes with this hitch light in the middle, and then plug it back into the harness, and it functions just like I showed. It also has a reverse light feature. In other words, when you put the truck into reverse to back up, it lights up to assist with the pretty petty reverse lights that you have now. It also has a reverse light feature. When you put the truck into reverse, it shines a nice crisp LED white light lighting up the back of the truck so that you can see through your camera and see where you're going. Just an awesome product, multifaceted. I really dig that. Now, the last one that I'm going to mention, of course we have to unlock the truck, that auto lock feature is right on the other side of the tailgate. It is the Snail Armor Custom Flat Panel. Love this thing. It is just too cool. Obviously, you can see I put my logo on it for the truck. It's got a Tacoma on it. Of course, the channel name. You don't have to do that. I'd be flattered if you put mine on your truck, but you don't have to do that. You can have it just plain if you want, or you can go ahead and customize it and have something that you want on the back of yours. The good thing about this, not only does it look cool, it's functional as well. It's flat, it's aluminum, it's got a great coating on it, you can cook on it, set pans on it, do whatever you want. Stuff isn't going to roll off like it does with that ribbed cover that the truck comes with. Awesome. These also have a discount code down below if you want to check them out. I highly recommend it, have had no issues with it, and you can see for yourself with the amount of humidity and moisture that we have down here, I don't have any rusting anywhere on it. It is awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to run through, in my opinion, the six best rear-end Tacoma mods or accessories that you can add to your truck. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've gotten any of these and what you think of them. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.